truly personalizes it when you look at your own data. And I think some of the early users of 23andMe are starting to experience that. Even though it's incomplete, uh, the worst thing we have is the standard statistics now in the practice of medicine. Uh, and the example I use is cholesterol, I mean, is caffeine metabolism. So most of the studies on caffeine metabolism, uh, on caffeine and whether drinking caffeine is bad for you or good for you or indifferent, have been inconclusive. And some studies say it's dangerous, others not. So there's a range of caffeine metabolism. I have two alleles for the fastest caffeine metabolizing genes. So I can drink five or more cups of coffee, follow, wash it down with some Red Bull, and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and feel fine. <laughs> Somebody with slow metabolism for caffeine would die probably by the time they finish that regimen in one day. In clinical studies now, when you take out the fast metabolizers, the slow metabolizers have a huge increase in risk for heart attack if they have high doses of caffeine, whereas it has no impact whatsoever for that fast metabolizers. I think that's an example of how our understanding of not only drugs, medical values, so what's an average for the population is basically a meaningless statistic. And so when it's you, it becomes very personalized.